get online. Me and I always complain about black women, at least black men. Black women this, black women that. Our name just always in your mouth. Black women aren't submissive towards black men how white women are submissive to white men. Well, because the white man is the slave master. The rest of the people are the slaves. Why would I submit to a slave? I don't submit to no slave. I submit to my slave master, which is the white man. But I would never submit to no slave, which is the black man. You supposed to submit just like me. Why would I be submissive towards you when you got somebody you need to be submissive towards too? It's the date master. Yes, we're back again with another banger. Oh, we must get into this video. So you're going to see a video of a young lady speaking to why she does not choose to submit to black men. I'm speaking to black men in particular today because we have an issue that I feel we have not fully grasped. We, we, we can't wrap our heads around it because we have been conditioned so long to be in such a desolate state that we accept anything thinking that that anything is just going to be a constant not knowing that that anything it also evolves we have a genocidal generation on this thumbnail you see summer walker she had a video where she's pregnant looking to be about seven eight months pregnant dancing and twerking in a gas station and on a car I come to inform you that what was lost cannot be found again. Because even if you were to find it, depending on how long it was lost, it is very rare you will find it in the same state. Well, Date Master, what do you mean by that? Okay, no different than you taking a break from a relationship, uh, trying to rekindle with an ex. It rarely works out because during the time that you, let's say, quote unquote, lost her or lost a relationship. Things were taking place. She was dating. She was sleeping with other men. Things were taking place in which you come across her again later in life, whether that be a couple of weeks. Nowadays, it can be a week. You know, chicks break up with their men on purpose temporarily, knowing that they're going to reel him back in because in that gap that the relationship was, let's say, quote unquote, called off. They can do whatever they want with a guilt without a guilty conscience. You know, how you get a woman back in, in check. You have to publicly shame her and not shame her by blasting her on social media. No, 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 no. You have to have a shame coming from a group of affluent, credible sources, men and women. That has set the standard of behavior, etiquette discipline etc etc that's where the shame must originate you just sitting back being a keyboard warrior that's not going to work this woman said she's not going to submit to a black man because the a black man submits to the white man now i cannot disagree with her in this in this regard see most people will see this woman saying this and they'll feel triggered but when you break it down is she telling a lie you have to submit to a man in which you call boss, sir, mister, whatever the case may be. Depending on how long you've been in, let's say, your occupation, you brought your woman around and they saw you kowtowing brown nose with the top brass, I'm sure. Depending on the setting in the in the environment in which you work, if you went to company functions and you met the top brass and you brought your woman she saw you behave in a manner which is not genuine or authentic to you and what she knows you to be. Do you know? Do you not know that? Do you not know that she loses? She loses respect for you when you act and behave in a way which is not authentic or is, let's say, manly, masculine. This is not what she knows. This is not why she's attracted to you. So it's a subconscious it's a subconscious switch that she she switches off and say this he he brown nose and he being extra nice he he he's being weak for the most part let's look at the terry cruz situation when he was groped up at this event this hollywood event to where more likely he was groped up by top brass who called the shots 
and he stood there and did nothing at six plus 200 plus pounds pure muscle and aggression of an older male stood there and did nothing but be uh, emasculated in front of his woman this woman says she's not going to submit to men who has to submit to other men and she'd rather just supersede the black man and go with the white man see that comes from the cultural and the systematic conditioning on who holds the power what is she familiar with seeing who is she familiar with seeing in an authoritative position in mo most cases than not white males dominating black males black males submitting clocking into a job working a job 20 30 years 10 plus years with no motion no increase just working a job throwing their years away because you, you're clocking in the job at least 10 hours a day 10 hours out of your day is is is, is pretty much knocked out it's only 24 hours in a day you have to sleep eight so you have six hours in, in, in some cases, a six hour window. Some people try to stretch it by living a, 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 a hazardous lifestyle, lack of sleep, partying, trying to squeeze in the things that they really want to enjoy all while having to go to work and submit to a white male the next day. And you wonder why marriages fail. See, no one talks about the uh, the small components of the loss of attraction and i think i'm going to do an in-depth video breaking down the stages of loss of attraction and that does goes both ways in more cases than not the woman lose attraction for the man first because her emotions influence what she's attracted to the things she see on social media the the sensory overload material the the trips the bags the new cars that they see other people post that does something to her because she asks, why is that not me? So she pulls things from that person in which she can emulate so people will perceive her to be that same woman or to be in the same position that she, she sees this woman in, living a high-status lifestyle when they're really struggling. They're not doing it as big as they, per, uh, as they put off to, to, to the world. What was lost cannot be found again. The black male needs to wake up and understand that the black woman, and I've said this in plenty of videos, she does not respect you because you do not respect yourself. You'll sleep with anything that opens up their legs. You'll have a baby with anything. They have a viral video of a guy, and I'm, I think I'm going to do a reaction to that. I'm sure you, you came across it. The guy with the, I think he's in Houston, saying that he has seven baby mothers. And shirking the blame to them talking about, I told you I didn't want any kids, yet you're going into these women raw and, and, and splashing, if you will. But putting the responsibility and the blame on the woman when you're the man which is supposed to be in the leadership position. See, there's certain things that takes place in which we hold each gender accountable for. But from creation standpoint, because men create... You look at the top inventors, creators, they're men. So when we look at what can what can be created out of this, not she's being accountable, we're putting blame on for behaving in a certain manner. That's something different. When we come together and it's something that is created, I am you you as the man are the leader of that. That initial equation, you determine whether or not your seed goes into her soil. Yet you're playing crazy as if it's the woman's fault because you you told her you didn't want kids. Yet you continuously to unload in a woman who you, you not even unload. You continuously lay down with women who you don't see a future with. And I seen him on Anton Daniels. Shout out Anton Daniels. He's the next one up. You heard it here first. Uh, shout out to him. He's talking about he told them prior to. And uh, he said a lot of the women that he was coming across was ma were married. So he has a baby with a married woman and the husband does not have a clue about it. And he said he got this married woman and hit her the next day. He met her, could have got her the same night. So as the man you choose in which you and who you lay down with, you seeing you having social media in 2022 to 2023, you see what you're going to get. 
you pick what you're going to lay with. Now, the woman determines if the lay is going to happen, but you determine you choose the woman who you are going to, quote unquote, shoot your shot at, who you're going to approach, who you choose to engage in this energy with. And you're trying to shirk responsibility with seven baby mothers talking about you told them you didn't want to have kids yet. You continue to unload. See, I don't give that a pass. I don't. I'm not a fan of making bastards. We don't do that. So people saying, I feel what he said. He got no. When it comes to it's certain things that you play about when it comes to life. And it's some things that you don't play about at all. Creating children is that one thing that's at the top of the list. That is no. I told you I ain't want kids. No. You're a tool to these women. OK. You think that makes you tough, but let's look at the quality of these women for the one to for the especially the women that signed up to be number four, number five, number six, number two, number two through seven. They can't be of high quality to put themselves in such a state now, can they? But people will big him up as if he's getting all this box. But let's look at him. A wise man once told me. It's not how many women you're sleeping with. It's who. What type of women are you sleeping with? What type of women are you engaging? Because you are who you lay down with. This very video shows why I agree with her. When you see men speaking in such an ignorant, uh, book broken state, talking about I told them I didn't want to have kids, and you do it seven times and these women allow this, I have to ask the quality of the women and the quality of the man to do this seven times, not once, not twice, not three times, seven times. What was lost can no longer be found because you need to find yourself. You need to understand that women are evolving. And again, I'm going to repeat this. Black women do not respect black men because you do not respect yourself. You shoot for low hanging fruit. You 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 prey on weak women and, and women don't get that. They don't understand this whole cycle. This is why when you listen to some women speak, it's all they don't even understand what's going on themselves. They have been indoctrinated with too much information. It is an information overload. That's why when you listen to them speak, go check out Fresh and Fit and you'll see them when they speak. They can't even stay on the point. They can't even answer the question directly that's being asked because it's so much information that they have been indoctrinated with that is conflicting and confusing to them. They just get to rambling off the first thing they remember. Or the first thing that triggered them when the initial conversation began. I advise you, man, to put on your seatbelts because it's going to be a rough ride over the next couple of years. And if you're not in pocket, if you're not on your shit, you will be left in shit. But you guys, let me know what you think about this video. Make sure you come in, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It is the Daymaster.